guys. It's the Cook and the Coach podcast. I'm Kenny. I'm the Cook. Bays and the Coach. Welcome back, guys. It doesn't feel like summer, man. It doesn't feel like summer. I was wishing that it would feel more like summer at this time of the year, and it just doesn't feel like summer. Does it feel like summer to you? Everyone I see wants to hang out and is super sociable and like nice and really cool, and that's the really easy part, but I'm just not seeing people. I just don't see anybody. I feel like I'm going crazy. COVID has thrown us off. We're thrown off by COVID. In Minneapolis, we're thrown off by social issues, black rights issues. We're thrown yeah, off. It's an off summer. I think it we is. We thought it was going to be hot boy summer. The name of my vlog series on YouTube. Go check it out. Base at the yeah. side, YouTube.com. We thought it was going to be hot girl summer. But we're thrown off. We're thrown we're off. We're thrown off our game. I think we're trying to make plans. We're trying to make things happen. But for some reason, th things aren't clicking like they should be. Schedules are out of whack. We're trying to be out in person, but there's also restrictions on certain... Th it's it's weird. Dude, this is going to be a weird one. <laughs> we're going to be bouncing all over the place. The shirt's coming off. <laughs> Looking Listen, jacked. I, as you guys know, I do the pot out of the office. I don't know what the fuck's going on in the office today. What's happening at the office? I, I, I don't know if the AC is broken. I don't know if the humid is just up today in the office. Mm. But I'm. if you can't see the first half... First few minutes of the episode, I was yeah. dripping, dripping sweat. So the shirt's off. I'm doing the pod shirtless in a church office. <laughs> How many other podcasts to say that? They've done a podcast shirtless in a church. Ken, come on, let's go. <laughs> Danica, come on. Fuck it, dude. Oh, it's toasty it. over here too. I just I was in oh. Duluth for a day, and so my tell me about it. Just it was good. It was good. I visited my brother. Uh, we played uh, duck pin. Do you know what that is? Mm-hmm. Played some duck pin. Uh, we drank. We had some food. We played some pool. We just like drove around, listened to music, listened to some of Bo Burnham's new comedy special. Like some of those songs are so. Oh, there good. you go. Got brunch this morning. I went uh, rollerblading today. I went rollerblading, but right before I came back uh, down to the cities, I went, there's this place called like Duluth Rose Garden and it overlooks mm -hmm. Lake Superior. There's like a boardwalk along there and I just did like laps up and down. It was really fun. There you go, man. Yeah, it was sick. Good day. Yeah, it was a really good day. Have you been up north at all? Uh, I mean, besides the cabin, obviously, this summer? Uh, Not really this summer, no. I mean, the only time was was the cabin, but yeah. Uh, I've been doing a lot of things locally in the cities, been out and about, just doing different events, different things. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to grow my own personal brand, trying to do things that would, you know, in the future help grow the podcast. So, yeah, man, we're just Dude, well, that's well, that's an exciting cities. thing. That's an exciting thing. The uh, the Do you want to talk about it, the sponsorship you got? Oh, let's get into it. Yeah, talk Your about it. Your boy is officially... Out I don't even know how, what, to, what to call it. An ambassador? A, a Probably brand ambassador, person? right? Influencer? I don't know what I am. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is I'm working with this great company. Matter of fact, let me get, let me get rid of the products. Hold on. The brand, y'all. Take a look at that. Oh, what we got? Chill Botanicals. Chill, C-H-Y-L-L. -L. Based out of Minneapolis. Local company. Owner's a great dude, a military guy. Got to know him for a little bit. Great dude. This is 1,000 milligram broad spectrum CBD. This stuff is like high quality grade A shit. I take this stuff every single morning. Just one one little droplet. I need my tongue 15 minutes. I'm good to go for the rest of the day. It's an energy booster. How does it feel clear? How does it feel focused? And if you guys go right now, we're actually in the middle of an ambassador giveaway. So for your listeners out there, if you go to Instagram, you follow me at Beza Tensai. You follow the brand at Chill, C H Y L L underscore Botanicals. That's at Chill underscore Botanicals. You follow both of us. You'll be automatically entered in a free giveaway for five of these bottles. I'm what? giving you out personally. So you get to try this shit out for free. You get to try the CBD, help up, help up your CBD game. Get you right for the morning time. Get you energized for the day. We got you. We got you. Just holler at your boy. Hit me in the DMs. Let us know you want that CBD. We'll try to hook it up for you, okay? We got you. Free CBD. I love that the first time you're mentioning your brand ambassadorship on the podcast, it looks like we're both naked on the show. I wouldn't want to do it any other way. Any other way. From now on, Ken. 
from now on, for the rest of the eternity, when we do a podcast, we knew we announce a new sponsor, we have to be shirtless. A new that's sponsor, we have to. Okay, let's do it. From now yeah, on, we gotta, that's the rule. We got to start stripping because it's important, man. We're because we're being raw. We're being honest. We're being real. We're not gonna let shirts get in the way of our honesty. This is chill. C H Y L. Brotherhood. May that never be a sister. Cheers. Amen. Mm. But yeah. Amen. Follow your boy. Follow Chill Botanicals. Make sure you guys buy shit from Chill, which starts July 30th. It'll be the official launch date. Make sure you use the code. Actually, I don't even have my code yet. I have a mm. code coming. Don't worry. I'm going to ask the next pod. <laughs> next pod, I'll let you know what the code is. I have a code. But you get 10% off every time you buy buy uh, some shit from, botan- from Chill Botanicals. So. Oh, shit. So tell your people. If you need some CBD, not sure about it, hey, I use this shit every single day, and look at me. Your boy's fit. Your boy's, you know, we doing? I've done, Looking good. I've, I've, done, I've done five shoots this week already. Five, five shoots, shoots this week. Five shoots? Jesus Christ. Your, your boy is, wor- hey, your boy, I, I told you I told you today, right? Yeah, I you told me. I officially quit yeah. my teaching job. For people out there who don't know, I officially quit my teaching job. Let's go. I'll still be something from time to time, but. Especially a teacher in the payroll. That's that's over. Five different shoots. That's crazy, bro. Listen, listen. Things are happening. We're working. That's it. That's it. You know. Let's go. I'm proud of you, buddy. That's awesome. So you're still coaching yeah, for them, right? Yes, yes. Right, so right, I'll still right. be coaching. I love coaching. Um, base. I mean, if they want me to stop coaching, they basically have to drag me out of school. Mm. But uh, teaching wise, you know what? It's just I think there's more opportunities out there for me in different fields and i feel like i i can grow the way i want to grow outside of teaching i feel like teaching there isn't i could grow in that field and be good in that field but i don't think it's what i was meant to do and i think there's other things i'm meant to do and i just want to pursue that and in this exciting time of technology this exciting time of um influencership and it's exciting time of the internet and social media I want to be a part of that. I want to grow in that. And I think when I'm in my 50s, 60s, 70s, and I did take this opportunity now to try to at least make an attempt to be in that field, I, I would kick myself in the, in the shorts for that. Mm. You know what I mean? And I think right now, you know, I can always get a 9 to 5. I can always get a corporate job. I can always fall back on my degree and do the traditional way of work. But... Mm-hmm. I'm in my 20s. I don't have a mortgage. I don't have a family. I don't have a wife. I don't, I don't have none of that shit. Right. So so why not? So why not go for it? So why yeah, not? Sure. For What's the worst man. that happens? So that's what I'm doing right now. And I appreciate you guys' support. The social media is growing. Just hit 1,700 today on Instagram. Oh, shit. Um, there you go. I appreciate you guys. I, I really do. So let's keep this trend rolling, man. Baze, what you jamming? We need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. A lot, about a it? lot, a lot of the music came out yesterday. But oh, yeah? two songs in particular are summer anthems, for sure fall anthems, but definitely summer anthems. Okay. We need to, need to, need to talk about them. We're talking First about up, them. I've been saying for about a year now, this guy has it. That stay. It I'm guessing it's stay. The Kid Leroy, man. I the called Kid it. Leroy. Called it. The Australian wonder. Teaming <laughs> he's up Australian? with the Biebs. He's a He's an 18-year-old Australian kid. What? Wild. Yeah. I don't know he's awesome. He, um, you know, Juice World had him underneath his wing. Obviously, R.I.P. Juice. We, we, we miss Juice. That was Juice's protege. And after Juice passed, Bieber kind of took him underneath his wing. And now it's elevating him to the next level. So I love to see it. Oh. I root for the guy. Um, lot, some people hate on him. But mm-hmm. I personally, I love to see him win. I like what he's doing. Mm-hmm. So the Killer Roy with Bieber stay. It's, it's a pop track. It's a little... A little more poppy than I'm used to hearing Lil Roy on a track, but mm-hmm. but it's good, and I like it. And I think Bieber was in his bag, too, on his verse. So go definitely go check that out. Video is crazy. A lot of cool special effects. Go check mm-hmm. that out. And then the the immediate banger. The ones could be in all the clubs, all the weight rooms. When I'm smashing these weights, <laughs> this is going to be the new number one song. The video was crazy. Shout out to Cole Bennett and Lyrical Lemonade. They knocked it out of the fucking park. Post Malone. I was with, gonna guess with Motley Crue. Motley Crue, I knew you were gonna say that. Yo. <laughs> when I, I tell you this beat is disgusting. 
like, you know, he's doing the little rhythm, he's doing the little rap shit, you know? You know how yeah. Post gets that little melody bag? But yeah. when that when that kick hits, ugh. Ugh. I haven't heard either songs yet. Oh, Ken. I know. When I tell you, when, the, when this beat knocks in, you're just... <laughs> just got a stank face. Rocking that stank it? face on. Oh, I don't know what Post did on this song. I think, like, he pitched his vocals a little bit. Because he sounds way higher than he usually is. Hmm. Interesting. And I, I never hit Pose hit these like high pitched melodies like he has before. Like it's, I almost was, was convinced it wasn't him, but really? I, it, it's it's different. It's a lot more hip hoppy than Post gets, and hopes he's like a hip hop artist basically. Yeah, but it's a lot more hip hoppy than I would expect him to be, even on this type of a beat. So mm. it was a pleasant surprise. It, it's it's the media classic. L- literally an immediate classic. Like this, this will get 100 million views in a couple of months. Easy. You think so? Oh yeah. This, this is, this is like the head bopping, like car, like workout anthem of like the year, mm. of the year. This is the one. This is the one. You, you called uh, a year or two ago, uh, blinding lights. You called that one. We'll revisit this conversation in three months. That's what I'm saying. Well, I, yeah, I'm we'll t- we'll have to come I, back. I, I, Hey, you said I didn't. We'll revisit this conversation in a couple of months. This is just going to become those obnoxious Gary Vee videos where it's like like a video from him 15 years ago. Like, oh, Facebook? Oh, really? Facebook? And then it cuts back to him talking about Facebook or whatever the fuck it was that he was trying to get everybody on. That's what this is just going to become. You being like, blinding lights? Ah, uh, <laughs> blinding lights. Like Ken, Gary Vee. This, this is why I, I want to do the pod. This is why I'm doing YouTube. This is why I'm doing TikTok. This is why I'm doing the social media shit. This is why I'm doing my my influencer fitness shit. I'm seeing shit in the future and I'm calling it out and I'm seeing it happen. You're a soothsayer? Why do it myself? You're a soothsayer? Bay's the soothsayer? Listen, I see what happens in the future and it happens. You're a soothsayer. No, I can. Do I know, do you know how many times I've, uh, this is not exaggeration at all. No, I, I, at all. Mm-hmm. I will literally have a dream. Have a dream. Mm-hmm. I'll wake up, remember that dream in the morning. Okay. And the same exact shit that happened in the dream will happen a week later, two weeks later, a month later. What? The same exact shit that I dreamt. The scene, the people where I was at with the conversation will happen like a month later. Exactly the way I dreamt it. How often has this happened? Since, since I was a kid. What? Actually, I'm not. Uh, but are these can, like are these I, just like never, things that are these things that are like pretty like not that wild of like situations? Like someone just said something no, no, like no, no, this, no, or no. you're planning to hang out with a person like that? No, 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 no. Like really, like very like specific. Spe- I dream very specific things, like specific phrases, specific events. Uh huh. Interesting. And there have been times when when things were happening in a moment. Yeah. I thought the dream. And made one adjustment in my to myself. Either I stepped to the side, or mm-hmm. I said something different than I'm supposed to say, and would throw everything off. Really, Ken? Uh, when I say I've never been, I've never been more serious about anything in my entire life. Could, I'm telling you, this is true. Wow. That's this I didn't know that about you. you. This is my Maya playing tricks. This this is this is I. I have some control over reality. <laughs> or maybe Not a lot. super good at predicting it, bro. By I have 0.01% control over reality. Of my reality, at least. I was going to say, like, fucking Thanos? That's I crazy, I gave up serious in my life. I'm just kind of shocked. You. I'm just shocked that you're saying this. I feel like it's bullshit. <laughs> I feel like this is deja vu. Okay. This is deja okay. vu, dude. Look, dude, you're not a soothsayer. It's not deja vu. I want to see a dream journal. I want to see it documented what was happening and then to see it actually happen. I need a paper trail. I'm going to start writing these down. You, start, you need to start a dream journal. I've never been more serious about anything we ever discussed in this pod before. <laughs> wow. I'm dead serious. I see shit in the future. <laughs> but you but you seen it with Taylor Swift with blinding lights. I literally say the day this shit comes out, everyone's like, all right, cool, whatever. And what happens? Exactly why I said it's going to happen happens. Yeah, but like how far into the future are you, are you talking here? Like how far do things that you dream about happen? 
generally? It, you know, not not super far. Like th- this shit happens usually within a few months. Okay. The the the, the longest one was blinding lights. Okay. That took a year. You so you or saw l- l- nine months. Nine months. We'll call it, call it nine months. Okay. So in the dream for blinding lights, you what? You checked like charts or something on the internet and then biggest song in the world i said it's gonna be the biggest song in the world oh just in the dream you said that minimum in the dream you said that i I saw it oh you saw it okay (laughs) this is wild kendrick lamar bad blood i need to find a way to make millions off of this yeah yeah, that's the thing with the soothsayers man are you gonna become a medium (laughs) or some sort of like a fortune teller a fortune teller some like saying some like spiritual shit or like some i think i think everyone like is able to tap into this probably i just for whatever reason i'm more sensitive to it and like reality and a crystal time ball. bends no 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 no. you I, gotta I, have I, a crystal I'll, ball no 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 i don't play with Ooh, that shit. No, no, no. Ooh, I, I am, I am sparkless. saved lucky charms i Get am saved and i am show. sanctified <laughs> i don't play with that shit. i'm just telling you I dream shit and that shit happens. I don't have to tell you. I'm just imagining uh, Disney Robin Hood where it's like, I'm envisioning a crown. <laughs> and they dress up as as uh, as no, no, uh, no, no, no. fortune tellers and they get on the king's uh, carriage, steal all his jewels. But I'm t- again, like, I'm, I've, like I said before, I've, 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 I predicted shit. You've seen it happen. You've seen it happen. <laughs> But saying "Blinding Lights" is gonna be number one song in the world is not like Taylor it's a Swift, great song. Kendrick Lamar, super specific. Two of the biggest stars. But who would have thought they came out with the biggest song in the world at the time on a remix like that? Exactly seven weeks before the remix came out, I said they're gonna collaborate on that song. It was gonna come out. And it was gonna be the biggest thing ever. And what happened? It became a big song. I don't really like that song. But was I honest. right? It went big. I can see it in the future. <laughs> Ooh, the lolly. Ooh, no, the no, no, lolly. No, no, no. This is real life. This is real life. <laughs> I don't know, man. I control my reality. I am Thanos. I am Loki. <laughs> okay, dude. Look, dude, you are. Loki is based there. off of me. I had a dream the other day that I had a battle with uh, Lego Bionicles. Like, life size Bionicles were attacking me, and I was fighting back. And it was happening in my shits. old church. It was an intense dream. I was like sure going was. into all the places I used to like explore and like climb around on it on the church, and we were having this huge battle, and then a huge part of it exploded, and then I woke up. I haven't had a dream about Bionicles in like a decade, at least more than that. I had a, it, I I haven't played with Bionicles in forever. Why did I have a dream about that? Childhood trauma coming up. Man, dude, yeah, it's just in the in the veil of Bionicles. Bionicles were a thing for a hot minute. For like three Bionicles four years, were sick. They were the oh, thing. Man. Did you ever read the books? They were like comics, right? They had comics, and they also had little uh, storybooks. Uh, well, storybooks is they had little novels, and they were different, okay. lots of different colors. And they I were read the really comics. Good. I was, the comics were sick. the The books were really good. I would always go to the library or like Barnes and Noble and get them, and they were awesome. I was such a big fan of Bionicles, dude. I fucking loved them. We lived in the golden age. Bionicles were maybe the best. Lego thing that they ever did. Guys, you know our socials. We know we're pushing that more. We're trying to get more active. Post yep. more content daily. At TikTok, Cook and Coach. Instagram, mm-hmm. Cook and Coach Pod. YouTube, The Cook and the Coach. You can find us there. You can find us on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube. All that shit, man. Follow Pretty much us, anywhere like, you can find podcasts. All of it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell a friend. Share the coworker. Yep. Do yep. it all, man. We love we love putting this out for you guys. So keep it growing. Keep spreading word of mouth. We're growing on Instagram. It's fun to see more people are liking yeah. this stuff. So keep sharing it, guys. We love it. Do you think we grew up in the best time to grow up? Probably not. <laughs> well, you know, no, I no. mean, we didn't like we didn't grow up with a lot of social media, the- so that's good. That's the thing. We had internet. But we didn't have too much internet. Yeah, like we had. We like, uh, grew up in a sweet spot. In a sweet we did spot grow up in that way. Shit. I agree. The internet wasn't a big part of the life. I remember like how long it would take to upload some a video at, with like 240p or even like I mean even watch <laughs> a video on 240p on YouTube and it took a while. And now that's like remember insane. your flip cam? I never had a flip cam. You had a flip cam? Yes, you did. 
You had a flip cam? No, I had a brick phone. I had a brick phone. I had like one of those track phones. It didn't flip. It was just one hunk of plastic. I never had a flip. No, no, no. no. It wasn't. It wasn't called a. It was called. I don't remember what it was called. I thought oh. like the. The uh, you know what I'm talking I, about? I, yeah. Okay. No. No. Yeah. The uh, the flip camera or whatever. Sorry, I thought you meant the uh, the uh, the phone. Yeah. There was like that oh, kind no, of no. rectangular, rounded edge camera. Yeah. And it was really good at shooting video. Yeah, those were sick. Remember when we thought that was like the most like innovative, like coolest piece of technology <laughs> ever in like it was 2009. Sick. It was really sick. Dude. I think it smoothed out the video a little bit. So I think it did a little stabilizing thing. The video was real clear. Um, you got to watch it like on the actual screen while you were recording. It was a cool size. Yeah. It was like really portable. So we shot like school videos and stuff on that. That was, was the, the best, shit. dude. Those were great. Those are really great. That's iPhone before iPhone. Okay, so for my what you jamming, uh, I have a couple Jacob mm. Collier recommendations. So. Um, <laughs> Basically, Ooh. I've just been watching Jacob Collier videos on YouTube like nonstop the past week. Music theory videos, interviews with him, and all these like live performances. He, if you don't know, he's amazing. He's just like a multi instrumentalist. He's awesome. He's really awesome. He's probably a musical prodigy. And it's so funny because they'll have these reaction videos on YouTube where these like music teachers or vocal coaches or whoever the f guitarists will watch one of his amazing arrangements. And without fail, dude, they provide nothing informative about what he's doing. They just sit there just with, like, <laughs> like, they're fucking shocked. They can't believe it. Literally, like, half the time they cry. Without fail, <laughs> half of the people start weeping. And they're like, I, I'm just, he's, he's a genius. So it's not helpful. It's not helpful to watch almost any of the breakdowns ever of anything that he does. The only way you can do it is if he breaks it down. Because no one is, everyone's just shocked by it. No one ever gives any insight. But if you want to just listen to fucking great music, uh, there's, okay, there's a live performance with like a huge, like a band, uh, this like choir setup. So it's called, it's a snarky puppy song called Don't You Know, and it features Jacob Collier and Big Ed Lee. I don't know who that is, but that one's sick. It's on YouTube. So Don't You Know, Snarky Puppy. And then um, Jacob Collier did this. Uh, this was from a while back, but I just discovered it. It's the seven minute video. It's a cover of a Lionel Richie song all night long. And mm -hmm. it's like Jacob Collier. He has this orchestra. He has this high school band. It looks or high school choir. It looks like he has his vocal stacked. It looks like there might be dozens, maybe even hundreds of him like stacking vocals on of his own shit. Like him playing so many different instruments. This acapella group called Take Six, they're doing all these sections. It's sick. And the video, it took him hundreds of hours just to put together the video. And you just, you get to see all the layers like moving in kind of real time. And it's awesome. Um, so yeah, um, all night long, Jake Collier. And then mm -hmm. if you want something a little more chill, Bass had kind of like the summer, summer turn up songs. If you need something a little bit more chill, uh, there's a song called uh, Sea Gets Hotter by, here, let, uh, let, who does the song? Sea Gets Hotter, Duran Jones and The Indications. I don't really know what okay. they are, but Sea Gets Hotter, sick song, dude. It has like, it sounds like it was recorded in like the 60s or 70s, like with the vibe, but it's like a newer song. I think it came out like a couple years ago. It's sick. It's really sick. So check that out. It's like a really chill vibe. Is it sea like, like sea like, ocean like, like, like water, like the ocean? Okay. Sea gets hotter. Yeah, yeah. It's sick. Love it, guys. We are gonna embark on something new for the pod. A little yeah. challenge for us. A challenge for sure. Five episodes in a row recordings. Yeah. So by the time you're hearing this, we will be recording Monday through Friday night, yeah. just back to back to back to back to back to back episodes. We're doing a podcast Compound, marathon. Podcast marathon. Yeah. So you guys will be about to be flooded with content. Flooded <laughs> so much. With TikToks. Yeah. With reels, with posts, with episodes, everything. You're going to get sick of so, it. But it's it's all coming at you. It's so this it's is the only episode that's coming out this week. But next week, you're going to hear five episodes in a row. Check that shit out. Share it. It's going to be so fun. And we have a special surprise coming for you. Hopefully by beginning of August, we we got some things cooking yeah. up for you guys. So absolutely, be on the lookout for that. We are super excited to bring you better content, more fun content, get you know us better, and just enjoy the ride, man. We enjoy doing this with you guys, and we're gonna have some yeah. fun doing it. Hell yeah, bro! It'll be great, guys. We love you. 
be on the lookout for the marathon. We're going to come at you hard. You're going to be sick of us, but it's all right. We're going to have some fun with it, all right? I'm really psyched about it. It'll be awesome. Guys, we'll see you next week. Peace.